Item number SCP-434, Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-434 is to be stored in a secured vault when not in use. SCP-434 is not to be utilized by individuals with a history of violent psychological issues or by humanoid SCPs. All individuals utilizing or assembling SCP-434 are to have all weapons removed from their persons. A full security team is to be on standby during all uses of SCP-434 and all observations by psychological personnel are to be conducted from an isolated location. SCP-434 is an antique conference table. SCP-434 will not function unless at least eight chairs are placed around it. When a subject sits at SCP-434, physical duplicates of the subject will appear in seven of the other chairs. These individuals, referred to as SCP-434-1 to SCP-434-7, seemingly possess all of the subject's memories and knowledge, but only a fragment of their personality. SCP-434-1-7 are aware of their temporary nature and rarely react negatively to it. When questioned on the issue, they will state that they are the elements of the subject and will live in him for all his life. The individuals remain for a full day after the subject leaves the table, after which they vanish, leaving no detectable traces. However, the individuals are more than capable of assaulting each other, other personnel, and in rare cases, Typically, when the subject is mentally unstable, the subject themselves. While the injuries have no lasting effect, the death of an individual results in a marked change in the personality of the subject, corresponding to the lack of the aspect embodied by that individual. SCP-434-1-7 are as follows. SCP-434-1 will not tolerate criticism and will not accept the subject has ever been at fault. SCP-434-1 will always ignore evidence of the contrary. Conversation will focus on the positive aspects of the subject. The loss of SCP-434-1 results in a crippling loss of self-confidence and self-esteem. SCP-434-2 will act and advise the subject for their own benefit, regardless of the requirements or well-being of others. The loss of SCP-434-2 will cause the subject to consistently fail to consider their own needs and decision making, to a point that is often eventually fatal. SCP-434-3 rarely speaks, and only does so to counsel the avoidance of activities or effort on the subject's behalf. The loss of SCP-434-3 results in the subject apparently losing the ability to sleep without chemical assistance and deep-seated reluctance to take a rest of any kind. SCP-434-4 will often fixate on a specific object or quality possessed by an individual known to the subject and advise its acquisition. SCP-434-4 will also react negatively to all individuals who are not the subject. The loss of SCP-434-4 results in the subject losing the capacity to identify objects as theirs and over an extended period gradually erodes their sense of self. SCP-434 will advise the subject to explore their whims and desires, regardless of practicality or the presence of other requirements. The loss of SCP-434-5 results in the subject no longer being able to experience enjoyment in any form of activity with the expected associated psychological damage. SCP-434-6 will advise aggression, active or passive, to counter all difficulties suffered by the subject. SCP-434-6 is the most likely to be violent. The loss of SCP-434-6 results in the subject becoming almost entirely passive and avoiding conflict of any kind. Subjects lacking SCP-434-6 will not engage in violence of any kind, regardless of the situation. SCP-434-7 will advise the subject to what the subject believes to be their best long-term gain, regardless of the needs of others. The loss of SCP-434-7 will result in a crippling degradation of the subject's long-term planning and decision-making capabilities. SCP-434 was first brought to the attention of the Foundation by a member of the Order of St. <laughs> an organization that has had extensive historical contact with SCPs. SCP-434 was reported to be stored in a vault in the Vatican, however, when a Foundation recovery team was dispatched, the vault was found empty. Forensic analysis of the vault indicated recent weapons fire and blood traces. In 19...
The foundation was made aware of a break in that house, an MCD holding. Examination of police reports allowed the foundation to locate SCP-4344 was occurred by MCD. Carbon dating of the wood from which SCP-434 was constructed indicates that it is approximately 3,000 years old. The theory currently held by Foundation researchers is that SCP-434 was built from materials salvaged from a much older SCP. SCP-434 has proven a useful tool in both personnel evaluation and non-standard interrogation. Its use to alter the behaviors of troublesome subjects is pending approval.